Welcome to beautiful Monaco. Uh, I've got a really exciting trip for, this, for the next couple of days. Um, we've, it's called 48 Hours as a Billionaire in, in Monaco and Monte Carlo. Lots of fun things planned, including going on an amazing old school vintage Weaver yacht. They're the most beautiful and expensive yachts in the world, um, which you'll see. Uh, also, I've got a, got a uh, full body massage and uh, treatment booked in at the beautiful Metropole Hotel. And then we've got dinner at the Rampoldi restaurant, which is the coolest and chicest and most fabulous restaurant where all the millionaires go. Um, but yeah, lots of fun things planned in for the next couple of days. Um, so come and join. So my first port of call on arriving in uh, Monaco is to go to the Metropole Hotel um, because I've got a spa treatment booked in at the Givenchy Spa, which is very exciting. And I've just got a little jumped in a little cab from the hotel. Um, it's only like a four or five minute drive, sometimes ten minutes in traffic, but there's like a base rate across all of Monaco. That if you're going a taxi anywhere, it's always 15 euros, which is, I guess, it's quite expensive, but it's good to know that that's how much your taxi is going to be wherever you go. Um, but it's also a really lovely city to walk around because it's so beautiful. Um, but I was in a rush to get to the spa, so um, then I'm going to have some lovely pampering chill out treatments post flight um, to get me in the mood for this billionaire lifestyle. Um, so off we go. <laughs> Thank you. Exclusive collection inspired by the Code de la Haute Couture. So this is the creation um, inspired by um, materials, different materials. And then you're going to choose one. And uh, one of those creations will go along during your Givenchy experience. So we went with the rose and the way you do it is this is centered in here. So you smell it, it's delicious. And then I'm gonna have that as my uh, oil in the massage. I'm just chilling out in the uh, chill out area, but she bought me this little, um, little like pocket square thing here, and that basically smells of the rose perfume. And she's just informed me that they're going to go and spray the whole cabin that, that I'm going to have the massage in with this rose scent. So it's rose full on intense <laughs> experience, but it's just so lovely here, really chill and quiet. They've asked me to fill out this form, which is fine, on this iPad. And then there's like choices of what type of music I want to listen to. So we've got Aerial Daydream, Pure Nature, Classical, what is this, Iconic Classicism, and, and, and a, tr a sort of foreign trip. And then I've been asked to pick which of these pictures most resembles my mood today. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm just going to go with the white one, I think. Um, but I've never been asked that before, so that's quite interested. Enter. I'm ready. Ah, fantastic. Thank you. Okay, bye guys. Current situation, massage over, green tea, snacks, and a lovely chill out room and more snacks over there. Lovely afternoon, a uh, little bit of a spa treatment, a bit of pampering. Now heading back to the hotel, 
um, by the beach and we actually did a little recce so we've checked out the Metropole, the Hermitage which is beautiful, we're going to shoot there tomorrow and also the Japanese garden so we're going to get a bit of sunlight tomorrow um, but it's been such a lovely afternoon now we're heading back to the hotel, we've got dinner plans there this evening <laughs> and Charlie the Pigeon's joined <laughs> Morning guys, so we have just arrived at Port Hercule uh, here in Monaco. Check out this backdrop behind me, it's absolutely amazing. Um, so today we're going to be heading out on a Riva boat, uh, which is one of the most exclusive and fabulous luxury boats in the world. They've been owned by royal families and Bridget Bardot, the list goes on, hundreds of celebrities. Um, but come with us and we're going to be getting on one now. big rock that Monaco stands on and it's basically check out all of these beautiful boats they just go on and on it's amazing <laughs> restaurant which is one of the coolest and chicest places to have dinner in Monaco um, and we're starting off with a few little cocktails so cheers Charlie cheers cheers <laughs> menu. This is a starter which is a uh, crab and then just over there you can see actually all the chefs preparing dinner in the kitchen which is really cool. It's a gazpacho. It's actually crab on the bottom with a creamy guacamole sort of flavouring on the top, some caviar and then a cold gazpacho around. It's absolutely delicious, so summery. Really good. <gasps> Wow, so our dessert's just arrived. Wow. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> I love it. Right, one, two. Jesus. <laughs> it's ice cream. Yum. So we just finished dinner. And then this arrived at the table. Ta-da! How beautiful these little cakes. 
literally like the restaurant that keeps giving. I can't believe it. This has been the most amazing meal. I couldn't eat another thing, but I might have to have one of these. <laughs> Does it taste like? I shouldn't ask when your mouth's. <laughs> yeah. really good. Okay, so this is the last one. This is the meringue. Mm. <laughs> so it seems even though we went hungry, we managed to get through those pretty quickly. And that's the end of our dinner at Rampoldi. So that was such an amazing <laughs> trip here in Monaco. We're heading home on one of these little babies, this helicopter that's just going to land behind me now. Um, but it's been such a great trip. I think my favourite bit was dinner at Rampoldi, which was awesome, and then the day on the Riva yacht, which was also fabulous. I'm going to have to speak a bit louder because I think the helicopter's coming in right behind me now. Um, but thank you, Monaco and Monte Carlo. It's been amazing! Over and out!